Greetings! I am Herbert Erpederp, and today I'm going to assemble this Flames of War Sherman Calliope platoon. These are some silly looking tanks, which is exactly what I like about them. The back of the box has some pictures at 80% scale, a short description of the 114mm rockets, and a diagram of how a Calliope platoon is organised. Inside the box we have this full salvo token, resin Sherman hulls and turrets, plastic tracks, guns and hatches, magnets and metal parts from which the rocket launcher system is made. No decals or instructions are included, though there is a step-by-step -step guide on flamesofwar.com. Link in the description below. Let's have a closer look at the parts. The resin parts are quite nicely cast and have a good level of detail. Looks just like a Sherman should. There's also a recess in the hull for magnetisation. The metal parts are okay, not great but not awful. Just a little bit rough, which seems to be the standard for Battlefront metal parts. The elevating rod for the rockets was bent, but this is easy to fix. The commanders look okay, though I won't be using them. The plastic tracks and guns were good, though they did have a little bit of flash. It was particularly bad around the gun matlet. As usual, the first step is to add magnets. Battlefront did include some, but they're kind of thin, so I decided to use my own thicker magnets, which are a little bit stronger. This turret will be kind of heavy. Next, we glue the tracks on. They have handy guides built in. I trimmed the posts on the back of the track pieces short so the tracks would sit closer to the hull. Next, the machine gun is attached. This needed a tiny bit of filing on the joining surface. It wasn't hard to attach thanks to the use of tweezers. Now onto the gun, which comes already attached to the mantlet. This part had quite a lot of flash, so much that I accidentally trimmed off the coaxial machine gun. Oh well, I guess it could be fixed with some wire. Fortunately, it does clean up fairly nicely. Glue the gun in place, being careful to keep it centered. Also, bear in mind that the elevation of the gun should reflect in the elevation of the rocket launcher. Glue in the commander's hatch and we have a perfectly serviceable Sherman tank. Onto the rocket launcher. The first thing, this nub should face outwards. The raised bar parts are then aligned and the pieces are simply slotted together. The fit isn't perfect, so I filed the parts down a little bit, and then I glued them together. I then clean up the arms for the rocket launcher and glue them on. It's a little bit tricky to get the correct positioning for these, you just have to eyeball it. The instructions suggest gluing the support arms to the rocket pods before gluing the entire assembly to the turret, but I figured doing it this way would allow me to better align the angle of the rockets with that of the gun. It was a little bit fiddly and annoying. Perhaps following the instructions would have been better. I then added a couple of drops of glue and held the rocket pod at an appropriate angle until the glue set. I then positioned the elevation bar, which can be a little bit fiddly. I put a drop of glue to secure it, and with that, the tank is complete. This is yet another addition to my collection of odd tanks, and I'm really quite pleased with it. It's pretty well detailed, and it was rather easy to put together, aside from a little frustration attaching the rocket launcher. The only part I'm not super pleased with are the rocket tubes. They do look a little bit poor at the ends when you look closely. I did consider drilling some of the tubes, but ultimately it seemed like too much effort for not enough result. I had also considered magnetising the rocket pod, but decided it would be way too hard and it likely wouldn't work anyway. I have plenty of other Shermans to use anyway if I want one without the rocket pods. This model is, unsurprisingly, quite top heavy and magnetisation of the turret is definitely recommended. I was absolutely inspired to purchase this Calliope platoon after playing the recently added Sherman Calliope tank in War Thunder. I'll add a link to the video I made about it here. It's a lot of fun to play. I hope it's just as fun to play in Flames of War. Of course this means I MUST start an American army now in order to use these tanks. What a shame. I think these Calliope tanks will look really good once they've been painted. I'm quite excited to do so. Expect to see a video about that in the near future. I just need to get my hands on some American decals first. If you're looking for a silly looking tank to shoot rockets at your opponents, I think this is a pretty good option. I do believe Peter Pig also makes a Calliope, but I've not seen one and I can't compare. I think the next thing I should get is a Sherman Whizbang, just for fun. I hope this video has been helpful or interesting. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Farewell.